Okay guys, so I'll be doing just a rehash of the pistons and the pistons and rods and the vinegar video. So I just I didn't really like the way the first one turned out, so I'm just gonna kinda go through the process again and just in more of a condensed video. So there's the next couple of clips here. Hey guys, how's it going? So we just took uh, three of the most rustiest pistons from the 5.3 and we got them soaking in this uh, pickling vinegar. The, the acidity in it is 7%, which is higher than your normal white vinegar in the grocery store. But uh, yeah, so we're going to try that and let it sit for a couple days and uh, we'll see what happens. We'll scrub it in between here and there, but uh, so today is Sunday, July the 4th and uh, I might leave these in here for, like I said, a couple days, maybe four days or something like that, and then we'll, we'll do some update videos in between. Hey guys, how's it going? So the pistons have only been there just a couple a couple hours now, sorry. And uh, as you can see already, it's just starting to clean up really well. The rust is just literally coming right off. Couple of brush strokes here. It's, that one was just covered in rust earlier. Really impressed with this uh, vinegar so far. And there's the other ones there. Okay, so I ended up washing uh, after they all got out of the vinegar. They, I mean, they came up pretty, pretty clean for the most part. Uh, a lot of them were, uh, the rings were all gummed right up on them, and uh, a lot of the bearings in them were all froze up. Some of them were anyway, and uh, the vinegar actually loosened all that up. I uh, couldn't reuse the rings or nothing like that, obviously. Um, but uh, I'll just go over this with you. Would have been nice to be able to uh, reuse the pistons again, but uh, unfortunately all the skirts were uh, kind of just scarred up. I'm not too sure how well you can see it or not, but yeah, just uh, some of them were a lot worse than others. So I'll just probably end up uh, later on when I can afford it, I'll get some new ones from new uh, pistons from uh, Summit or something like that. That's what I'm thinking right now. So um, yeah, a lot of them were pretty brutal. This one here. But yeah, the vinegar worked really good. Like I said, some of these are almost like rusted uh, shut. They were they were pretty bad. And uh, once I get the, these pistons off, off the rods, I'll probably uh, give the rods another soak again. Like this one was froze up too, and this one's still got a bit more rust on it yet, but it just needs another dip, that's all. And then just brush it clean, so. That'll be then another next step would be just get these rods off of here. I wish I could have, uh, I wish it was almost just as simple as just getting some new rings just to throw on, but of course, uh, not the case, but, uh, although, 
you know, if the scratches weren't overly too bad. <laughs> Take this as a joke, but I was gonna mix up a little bit of JB Weld and just, uh, just give them a nice little skim coat over the side. <laughs> over the side. So uh, yeah, but yeah, that's the whole the whole process there. Uh, vinegar seems to be one of the the cheapest uh, engine cleaner. Like if you're cleaning parts and stuff like that. So I mean, I I've used it throughout the summer, and I think I'm pretty well sold on it right now. So I'll probably continue on to use it. So I mean, at four dollars a jug, I mean it's probably a lot cheaper than or cheaper than a Vaporust at least, anyways. But uh, yeah, I think that's all I got for now, guys. I uh, just wanted to do that little bit there, and uh, catch you later.